What is up guys, Sonder from Canadian Rider here. We just got the paint protection film done by Skyline Reflections on the Audi R8. And it's been about a week, so it's completely set and it is in perfect condition. If you haven't seen that video, check it out guys. If you're interested in actually protecting your paint from stone chips and debris that's out there, you need to get a paint protection film. I'll link the video above. But now is the final step. I really wanted to make sure I completely seal this R8. So we got the front protected, but how are we gonna protect the rest of the car? And one of the best ways to do that is with a ceramic coating. Ceramic coatings are just an evolution from your traditional wax or synthetic sealant, all with the goal of protecting your car's paint. So in this case with the Audi R8, I wanna make sure I completely protect the rest of the paint that isn't protected by the paint protection film, and this ceramic coating is gonna allow me to do that. First, it's gonna protect from all the UV damage, bird droppings, water, dirt. It's even gonna protect me from some light marring or swirls on the paint because actually the ceramic coating is harder than the clear coat on your car. The ceramic coating is a huge evolution over a traditional wax because of all those things, plus its durability is just incredible. In this case here, with Optimum Gloss Coat, this ceramic coating lasts two years. Some other ceramic coatings last up to five years. It's, it's crazy. And that saves me a lot of time. As a car enthusiast, I love waxing the car and I love getting that just waxed look. This ceramic coating is gonna give me that, but it's gonna last way longer. Longer. I'm not gonna have to spend you know every two three months re-waxing the car and it's going to remain protected And that's the key purpose for me for this ceramic coating while it does help with the looks of it While it does help with the water repellency and it's easy to clean the car after it's really gonna help protect the paint from the damage from the outside world Price-wise, ceramic coatings aren't too much more expensive than your traditional waxes or sealants. In this case here, I got this Optimum Gloss Coat, the 10cc version, that can do an entire full-size car, $89.99 Canadian dollars. So it's actually not too bad. I've gone ahead and put the link to the product down below in the description box in case you wanna go ahead and check it out after this video. Saying all this, there's a lot of preparation to do before you actually put on a ceramic coating. So you guys see, and I'll link the video above, I did a full paint correction on the Audi R8. So the paint was in terrible shape tons of swirls tons of scratching tons of marring i needed to get it washed i needed to clay bar it, and i needed to polish it this is going to ensure that the paint is at its absolute best condition possible that all the scratches and defects are out of the paint there's no contamination baked onto the surface of the clear coat so it's just the surface paint that is available to be bonded with the ceramic clear coat and it's super important that the paint and the ceramic clear coat are the only things in between themselves so there's that chemical bond so you can get that actual advertised durability because if you're going to be applying a ceramic coating on a car that you know hasn't been clay barred hasn't been polished you're not going to get that type of durability that the product or the manufacturer is claiming because it's not properly chemically bonding to the clear coat now once all that jazz is done what you're going to do is make sure that you start one section at a time you're going to go ahead and put the syringe needle on the tip of it and what you're going to do is take the applicator pad you're just going to put maybe 10 to 12 drops of this coating on this foam applicator pad on the edge. And what you're gonna do, once you put that 10 to 12 droppings, you're gonna place your pad on the paint and you're gonna go ahead and massage and work that in. What you're gonna see, it, it kind of feels kind of thick and you're gonna see it spread out really fast. And what you wanna do is make sure you get full coverage over the panel that you're going with. You know, some people like to do it in uh, horizontal or vertical motions. I personally have no problem in doing a circular motion because I know the paint's completely clean. And go ahead and do that. Once the entire product is put on into the section, you're gonna notice right away, it's like an oil slick on water look is gonna start to happen. And what you're gonna see is that it eventually is gonna start flashing. So this flashing piece is really important because what you want to do is make sure is that while the, uh, the ceramic coating, it's actually cross-linking into the clear coat so it's gonna flash and you're gonna see the oil slick look start to disappear. Now, what normally happens depending on the humidity and the temperature, in my time here when I was applying the ceramic coating, it was about 30 degrees Celsius, it was actually flashing quite quickly. So about you know 60 seconds, I saw 80% to 90% of that oil slick on water look started to disappear. And this is about the right time now to go ahead and take a very clean, low pile microfiber towel, and you're going to very lightly and gently just kind of go over the high spots, and the high spots are the pieces of the ceramic coating that are, have not flashed yet. And you'll notice that the oil slick on water kind of look, and you're just gonna lightly buff across the entire section that you did. And what's actually happening is you're spreading that um, oil slick on water or that ceramic coating that hasn't flashed yet because it, that those sections that haven't flashed is actually too much ceramic coating. So what you're doing is actually spreading that out across the working area and it's allowing it to flash right away. And that's it. So once you've applied that one section and you go ahead and give it that buff, the ceramic coating's on there now. 
and you're good. It's super easy to apply, and that's one thing. A lot of people are like, oh, are ceramic coatings super hard to apply? No, they're actually super easy, super straightforward, as long as you follow the instructions and make sure that you're doing one section at a time. So now all you're gonna do is take that section and just repeat it across the entire car. Now in this case here, I'll point out, Optimum says not to put this on your glass surfaces, so I didn't, but I went ahead and put it on all the painted surfaces and on the uh, PPF film from 3M. It took me about an hour to go ahead and apply this to the entire car and to the wheels. I applied it to the wheels as well, and for the product to flash and for me to like lightly buff it off with the microfiber towel. So some learnings I had applying this ceramic to my R8, one is actually you don't need that much product. So the product goes pretty far along guys. So you wanna make sure that you maybe use 10 to 12 drops and you work that product in in the entire section. And just know as long as you could see it coming on there and everything's going on fine and you'll know when it's running out of product, you're good. So don't overuse the product. Arguably the most important piece of advice I can give you guys is not to do more than one section at a time because what's going to happen is let's say you go ahead and apply a section of the ceramic coating and it's flashing and you let it flash for too long without wiping down any high spots. Those high spots or that extra ceramic coating, it's going to be stuck there. You're not going to be able to buff it off and the only way you're going to be able to actually remove it is to use an orbital polisher or a dual action polisher and to actually polish that section off. So I'm gonna take it out in the sun for you guys just to check it out and it looks beautiful. You can really tell that liquid look that the ceramic coating gives and now I know it's completely protected. So this car came from a massive journey guys. It was destroyed, um, full of swirls and scratches. We paint corrected it, we put the paint protection film on it and this was kind of the last step to get it completely protected from the elements is the ceramic coating and it looks beautiful on this car. I am super happy as an OCD detailer freak. The car is quote unquote, done on from the protection side of it and this coating is going to last for two years it really does add that layer of extra shine onto the car it, it looks beautiful it lives up to the name optimum gloss coat it really looks extremely glossy compared to when before i put it on a lot of that has to do with the polishing but a lot of that pop is coming from the ceramic coating so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you guys want to protect your cars or motorcycles and what is one of the best options to do it is a ceramic coating. I love this coating. I think ceramic's the way to go guys, especially if you want to you know, save time, not reapplying waxes or sealants every two, three months. I know everyone's busy and this is going to give you actually the best protection and more advanced protection than those products anyway. If you got any questions, leave them down below guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video as well. We're going to be doing a lot more videos coming up in 2018. Hey, I want to say thank you guys for 10,000 plus subscribers it kind of happened super quickly um, that's a huge milestone so 10,000 of you plus I think we're at 11,000 something now um, follow this channel and subscribe I really appreciate that guys I'm, I'm gonna keep making this great content and I love what I'm doing and I hope you guys are enjoying because I'm bringing you guys on this journey and I'll see you guys in the next video